me. Fellow music makers, hope you're doing well out there. We're doing well in here. In today's video, I uh, thought I would take you on a little musical journey. I, um, for a little backstory, I just swapped out my whole studio from <laughs> Mac to PC. So really, it's one piece of my studio, but actually one piece turned into two pieces. I had to swap out my sound card as well, uh, my audio interface, I mean. I have an Apollo um, that has the only the Thunderbolt guy on it. So I had to swap that out. I got a fluid audio interface, which is pretty cool so far. Um, time will tell if I miss the Apollo or not, or not, and time will tell if I miss my Mac or not, but I digress. Uh, once I got my PC all set up and all the Reason installed and all my plugins installed, and then I had to do it again because I had hit some error. Anyway, it was, anyway. Uh, I got through all that and I decided I wanted to make some music. So that's what I did. And that's what you're gonna join me, join in on. Uh, I'm already a little bit, I already started uh, making a loop, but I catch you up. And uh, you will see me kind of refine this loop. Uh, it's a deep house kind of thing, like a mellow deep house type thing, trying to, try to make some vibes. Um, so yeah, you uh, jump in while I'm uh, in the loop, and there's a ton of tips and little things that I do uh, that you can pick up and take with you on your productions. Um, I made a chapter list too, so you can kind of jump around if you like. Um, and I hope you enjoy this type of content. Um, I'm going to be doing it more. I, I'm going to do the traditional tutorials for you guys as well, but also I want to share more of the music making process. And I think it's good for you to see the tips in the wild, if you will. So join me on that. And yeah, if you enjoy this video, hit the like button. If you're new to the channel and you like music making, if you are a user of reason, uh, if you like chill dudes, <laughs> uh, hit the subscribe button uh, you won't be disappointed um, yeah let's get into it okay I think everything's working check 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 okay let me just go over these really quick to catch you up to speed I just started making this loop this kind of deep house thing uh, basic kick. You get how that works. There's just like kind of droning bass. That's coming out of Serum. Out of some sound pack I bought. Oh, let me play the whole thing. <laughs> some vibes uh, yeah so this drone bass thing I called it uh, this is um, started off I started off actually with this sound and my idea was I liked the idea of jumping octaves so goes from here to here from C sharp to F sharp, anyway. That's the interesting thing about the pattern. And this is just an octave up. Tons of processing though. I um, recently got the Slate Everything Pass and I'm loving it. Uh, hit me up if you want me to do a video on it, but um, 
a little bit of, bit of distortion coming from this. FG stress, a little revival. If you are familiar with these, then you know how great they sound. Let's keep working on this loop. Maybe there's a, some instruments to add in. Maybe some percussion or something like this. So let's see what we got. We don't have the snare. We can try this guy. Really? The reason I'm using a gain is because I don't like to turn, if you have to move this down to here, the resolution is different than it is up here. So if I'm going to have to turn it down a lot, which I am, I kind of like to do it in stages. Like I could have just turned this waveform all the way down too, but then it's like too small of a waveform. So it's like down and then a little bit down and then now I can use the fader. It's too early as well. So let's try it. Actually, this guy. drums. I think I need a, it's like too splashy. I might need a, uh, Sure, splashy is not really the word, but I think you get where my head's at. I need like a snare snare. Hmm, huh, maybe that actually. See, again. I wasn't planning on keeping that reverb at all. these two together do I let's try to group to bust them together let's see if just the old
turned up the gain so I could push into the compressor a little bit more to get a little bit more compression, a little bit more gain reduction. Kind of listening to this in solo too much. Let's see what this sounds like if it's distorted a little bit or something, just something to maybe bring it into, bring it to life. Just trying things, I don't know. I actually don't really know what I'm looking for so much. Sometimes you just try things. Let's see. That had a positive effect. Maybe this radiator too. I've been trying to dial in what I think sounds nice and then back off, back off, back off, back off. Add a little bit, add a little bit, add a little bit. That's what I've been trying to do. loud now. Do we have a leveler? Let's uh, try our best to level match. Because, you know, it always fools you if you put a bunch of plugins in and it gets louder. So, let's see. I'm going to quickly... Assign this to this knob here and assign the bypass to my foot switch. Cool. So now when I press bypass the and then unbypass, the level doesn't change. Hmm. Finding you need more hats than you think. Let's see if we need one more. Has a nice swing to it. Looks like it's already in time. Yeah. 124 was the magic number. Uh, Control D, Command D on Mac for duplicate. <laughs> works so when we need to hype it up a little bit more we can add these drum these extra hats I'm using this delay calculator to make my pre-delay time a musical 
Interval? Interval? Hmm. That's not right. Make my delay time musical. My pre-delay time musical. So we'll try... That's wrong. Darn it. I'll take this. Try it. 90. Ninety one, but yeah, that adds a dimension to it. after the reverb sounded pretty good. Take that one with you. Not sure if I love that, but we'll leave it for now. So there you have it. I hope you found that helpful. A lot of little tips in there, a lot of things. Um, again, it's one thing to kind of tell you, oh, you should be doing this at this time, but to just see me reach for it is a whole different thing. And, um, you know, you don't even know all the little things you do um, just based on how you see things, you know, or how you process things that might open someone's mind. So hopefully this was helpful to you. If it was, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you want more content like this, um, or also just straight up tutorial content, uh, raid my channel and subscribe to it also. Uh, you can always go to djquasar.com slash downloads and uh, download any of the combinators I've made or the sessions that I've released. I'm going to do more of those too. I'm going to do more in general. It's um, should be a lot easier to make videos. I was really fighting with my old computer. Um, so yeah, help help a brother out. I have invested in this. I have invested in you uh, and me. Um, so yeah, just hit the subscribe, hit the like, help me grow. And yeah, I will appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs>